Lloyd of the Labour MPs have demanded a second Brexit referendum. The cluster of London-based politicians jumped ship and teamed up with the Emma Cable for his crusade for a second vote on whether Britain should leave the European Union. The MPs scrawled their names on an open letter calling for a deal that keeps the UK shackled to the bloc's custom union and single market, which in turn would force Brexiteers to continue free movement and ban free trade with other countries outside the bloc. The flurry of signatures are from six former shadow ministers and regular Corbyn bashers Mike Gates and West Streeting as well as Russian Ari Rally, Margaret Hodge, David Lammy and Tulip Siddick. Labour's attempt to sabotage Brexit comes after 10 Welsh MPs called for a second referendum on the historic June 23, 2016 vote, despite Mr Corbyn saying his party does not support another poll. Jetta's cluster of London-based politicians jumped ship and teamed up with the MR Cable former shadow Northern Ireland Secretary Owen Smith learned this when MR Corbyn fired him for repeatedly proposing a rerun of the vote. The letter reads, that the flurry of London MPs represents all the most positive elements of being global, outward-looking, welcoming and tolerant, but that was all at risk, if Brexit went badly. It adds, outside of this European market, our city will suffer. Yesterday, Labour MEP Seb Dance also displayed his dismay at Brexit. In a furious rant against the insane government, he claimed Brexit was unpatriotic and said the cabinet is following a nationalist and lunatic agenda. Speaking on Channel 4's carry on Brussels, Mr. Dance said, I no longer have any faith in this government. I think they have gone insane. I think they are following an agenda that is frankly nationalist and lunatic, and, well, it scares me, he added. Brexit is unpatriotic. Emma Dance's comments came weeks after 26 British MEPs sided with her. European Union and voted against Brussels opening post-Brexit trade talks with the UK. Emma Dance was elected to European Parliament in 2014 and appointed to the European Parliament Committee on the Environment, Public Health and Food Safety.